Hey everyone, and welcome back to Be Care Reviews, where today I know a lot of you guys are here for costumes, not Legos, so I'm mixing it up, doing a bit of costumes, and we are going to be taking a look back at this guy right so here. A really weird thing is that in my Spider-Man series, the one where I had the clothes laid out on my bed had a lot more views than the ones where it was actually me going around as Spider-Man, which you could check out in the link right there. All right, I finally pointed to the right place. But with that being said, I will show you, oh, hey, hey. I will show you guys what it's like. Ah, uh, yes, the bed shot. Apparently it gets many more views than actually uh, going around to Spider-Man, so what do you know? But I'll walk you through all the um, pieces of this costume and just show you what it looks like all together without me actually wearing it so that you can see what the final project ended up like. Start out with the least uh, important or impressive part, which is just the shoes. These are Wave Runner shoes. Um, I found them in a Walmart in Tennessee actually, and they were all solid red, and they were really actually flexible, so I like that, and they go perfectly with the suit. Not movie accurate, but they do the trick. Then we have some long red socks. And as you can see, these are just really, really simple. And I'm so glad that they matched all the other reds because that was one of my big issues, or not issues, but uh, fears, I guess, of the finished costume. I'm gonna wear some socks with that just because the shoes are a bit big on me and I wanna fill them up. Next, we have some Carolina blue, I believe. These are sweatpants. These are actually movie accurate and they're actually women's sweatpants. Don't ask me why, but that's what Tom Holland wore. So you can still see the um, little straps right there. And the shirt, these I knew would match because they're both like the same Carolina blue. Uh, the generic color of red was the thing I was worried about, but this is so specific, I don't think that you have any problems. And then moving up, now we get to the good stuff. These are some red uh, sweatbands that I actually got. They're a bit long, but I used that to my advantage. And I attached some elastic, um, uh, black, I don't know what you would call that, but I put that around and you can see I just hot glued it on the inside. I made some duct tape web cartridges, nothing too special. I could have used metal, but that might have been too heavy and I just wanted to make it as DIY so that um, everyone could make something like this. Um, this is once again just some more duct tape and cardboard foam. There's a straw actually and some headphone wire. Um, I made an entire video just on how to make these, so you can check that out, but here we have the gloves, which I really, really like. Now, the inside is supposed to be black in the movie, but these were so perfect otherwise, I just went, yeah. But uh, you can see that it does have the black thumb and the red. I actually sharpied on these lines, which I'm pretty sure is what they did in the movie. Um, just to make it a homemade look and I actually used a poker chip. No, I don't play poker. This is good. Good. But I just found one around the house and yeah, I just kind of traced that. You could use a quarter or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. Just a lot of reference images that I looked at and tried to wing it, I guess. Next, my two favorite parts of the suit. Now this, I will actually unfold because it's so awesome. It's a sleeveless red hoodie, as you can see right there. And I had to draw on that homemade spider logo. And I really do like the look that the Sharpie gives it, just because that uh, does really give a really homemade look. And even though it's a little bit off in some places, like these go more towards there than these, that's what the movie's like. I mean, it's a homemade suit that a 15 year old, AKA me, was able to make. And then the hood is pretty cool too. Uh, really comfy, however, it does not have the strings like as you can see right there. But then we get onto the mask. Now, the uh, little mask right here is just a morph hood and it has the zipper in the back. I found some online that I was about to get, but realized that it had a morph suit logo right here. So try not to get those. Just stick with a uh, red morph hood. And these already had the eyes cut out because I knew that I would be making my own welding goggles. So these guys took quite a while. They are just welding goggles. However, um, it, the hardest part was getting the swimsuit inside mesh to sit in there. I did have uh, swimsuits with pockets that I never used because I mean, why would you need a pocket in a swimsuit? But I just cut out some of that fabric, put it in here, and it does really give a nice um, white look and you could still see outside of them fairly well. Uh, it's 
there you go. You can kind of see the mini drum set over there. These shutters were just um, accordion folder material. And that was pretty cool to make. It did take quite some time to get the right expression, but in the end, it did work out to my favor. And you could check those out in the part two of the series. And that'll do it, guys. I know that most of you guys are here for the costume videos rather than the Lego videos, and I want to keep you guys supplied with content that you enjoy and content that I also enjoy making. This was really fun taking a good look back at something that I made in July, I believe. And maybe this summer I'll go out, do some more stuff, uh, go on the streets, maybe say hi to some people at Spider-Man, that'll be pretty cool. But if you do feel like I deserve it, please do leave a like, as that always, always helps. And if you want to see more of this series, more LEGO stuff, anything regarding costumes, LEGOs, trailer reactions, go check out the channel. And maybe even consider subscribing, because I think that you'll like what you see. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.